G'day, I'm really struggling to think of ideas today, so I thought that would give me a good reason to talk about my workflow, because I am definitely one of those people who um, just pushes through uh, the creative droughts for however long it lasts, be it uh, a couple of minutes, days, weeks, whatever. Um, I know a lot of people who wait around for inspiration to come, and if they're not feeling something, they feel it can be detrimental to the work to push through and just force yourself to pick an idea or, or just pick a concept and run with it and just regardless of your if you're fully happy with it um, there's always something on the other side when I do it I guess so I'll just sit in front of my computer like this and spend it can be sometimes hours just uh, looking at other people's artwork and um, sketching down basic ideas usually create like a maybe, maybe a bit of a mind map maybe a sketch a character out um, and often I just hate it. I <laughs> not I hate it. Like, it's not to be, not to sound like it's a real struggle and like, uh, I feel like I have to do it, but I know, I've taught myself and learned that I know that there's always something on the other side once I push through. Uh, and often if I stop at the first hurdle, uh, the first couple of, first half hour or so, of just not having anything in my head, of really starting to get anything down on paper, um, then I'll never get around to it. That's why I, uh, when I started posting on Instagram every single day, um, that was the whole point of doing so. It was not actually because I was super keen on drawing. Uh, even to this day, the drawing aspect of it is um, something I enjoy in terms of looking at the aesthetics of it, um, but putting pencil to paper, it's not like I have a giant urge to do it every single day, but um, forcing myself to be in that creative mindset is... Uh, has helped me a lot and um, pushes me to come up with ideas all the bloody time. And that's great. That's all. It's just, um, I, I kind of wanted to talk about that because I think um, when people are starting out working um, in a creative field, when they're starting a new project, the most important aspect is to figure out your workflow, what works for you. And I've gone through a different, couple of different phases of using different materials. Uh, I bought a pretty fancy tablet um, not too long ago, and I gave it a go. Um, but I just having extra tools like that really fucked up my workflow. I, so I liked having simple, just looking at my screen, finding artwork that I like, pen pencil and paper. I've got three markers that I use, or three fine liners, and then I take a photo with my phone of this scan and, and put it into Photoshop and edit it through there. And I've got a little. I've got uh, just this little tablet is what I use, um, and I think that because because I'm the type of person who just pushes through and and spends the time to like, okay, I don't have an idea today. Let me just fucking let me let me brainstorm for hours until I can find something that I'm happy with. Um, so I need things to be quick and simple, so I can just be like, yep, cool, that'll do it. Bam, 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 bam. Take a photo in. Um, find your workflow. I think that's the most important thing to start with when you're starting out. I don't know why I started doing this as if it's like a tutorial on how to start drawing um, or start a project, but doing daily content is a grind and it's not for everybody and it's at times has not been for me, but <laughs> um, you can find the workflow that best suits you and it makes it a lot easier. That's all. Bye-bye. <laughs>